What's going on guys? Welcome back to another exciting episode. So a few weeks ago, I started kind of posting pictures and videos of a double clash rig fish that I caught back in July. And I've been getting a lot of questions about that footage and well, obviously what is the rig? Where can I get it? So if you guys haven't seen that cast of catch, I'll play it right now just in case. Insane, dude. <laughs> so ridiculous. Not a bad dude. fish at all. So yeah, I was out fishing with my boss Ben, and for some odd reason, I just said, "Screw it, I'm gonna tie on the double clash rig." Tied it on, and I caught like that five pounder on it. It was a really sick eat. And ever since posting that, a lot of people have been asking, "What is the rig? Did you make it? Who makes it?" And so right now, I'm pretty much gonna show you guys what the rig is, how to set it up, and why you gotta do certain things to it. So, first of all, let's look at the actual rig itself. So this is the rig itself here. You got one long wire going here, and then a shorter one here. And then you have a swivel up here on top. And it's all crimped really nicely. And this rig is made by Signal Japan. Signal Japan makes a lot of different things. And I remember Ben at the Hookup Tackle used to carry these. And I decided to try one out and pick it up because a few years ago, DRT posted on their YouTube channel a cast a catch of a double tiny clash rig. And I thought that was like the coolest thing. I'll leave a link to the video of that too if you guys wanted to check that out from DRT. And since then, I was like, dude, it'd be really cool to catch like a double clash rig fish one of these days. And so I bought the rig and I like never used it. And so for some reason I was like, ah, it, it could work. I don't know if it will or not. And so I just never really actually went out and fished it. Like I said, that day I just, for some reason had a hunch to try it out and I ended up catching a fish on it. So what you need is obviously the rig. You can either do this with double tiny clashes or you can do it with a, cla a tiny clash and a canine. If you have the balls, you can probably do a double canine. I don't think the rig is really made for it, fishing double canines, but if you wanted to, you could probably get away with it. But it fishes the double tiny clash pretty much the same way as the tiny clash and the canine. So basically what you're gonna need to do is you, the canine is gonna run on the far back one. It's gonna be the trailer. So you're gonna leave the hooks on your canine. With the tiny clash, you're gonna need to take off the hooks because the, the tiny clash is gonna run up here. Now, if you leave the hooks on the tiny clash, what's gonna happen is in midair when you're casting, it, it goes all wonky in the air. And if you had the hooks on there, the hooks will just hang up on the wire and you're gonna hang up basically every single cast you make. So if you take off the hooks from the tiny clash, it won't ever snag the wire and it's gonna be free every single cast. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna also wanna take off, if you had any snaps or split rings, you're gonna wanna take those off because the rig comes with split rings already on there. So you're gonna want to just use those split rings that are good enough. So it obviously doesn't matter which one goes first. Just remember the tiny clash goes to the front one. All right, so tiny clash is in the front one. And then the canine will go back here. So both of my clashes, they're in the glide mode, mode B with the tail, no lip in. And this is how you get it to glide as fluid as it does. So that's basically it. You got the canine and the trailing, and then you have the tiny clash. Now you might be asking yourself, well, Jeff, what happens if, you know, you get one to eat the canine and another one, you know, comes up and it's like a wolf pack and the other one eats a tiny clash? That really sucks. I mean, again, you can go with hooks on there. It just, it's going to catch a lot of times when you're throwing it in the air. Um, I don't even know if that's legal to do. I don't know. But 
All I know is all this is supposed to look like is a bigger fish trying to eat a smaller fish. You have two baits going at the same time. And for the most part, they're going to go for the trailer. It's kind of like on an A-Rig, the one that's hanging down below, hanging out, is going to be the one that's eaten. It's kind of the same deal with that one. The fish that came out on my bait, its main focus was this one. While the tiny clash was kind of just doing its thing, it came and ate the big one instead. So I'm going to tie it on real quick. I'm going to make some casts and kind of just go through the rhythm. And it's basically just like if you're fishing one bait, the momentum of the K9 is strong enough to also get the tiny clash to glide as well. And I'll show you guys right now. So yeah, that is the Double Clash rig. Super dope rig, especially when you get it working and like you really dial it down. This thing looks super crazy in the water. I mean, I obviously don't fish it a lot. I normally just fish one or the other. But yeah, every now and then you kind of want to try something crazy and the Double Clash rig just so happened to work out for me, so. And where to get this specific rig I have no idea. You're probably gonna have to go on eBay or one of like the Japanese like auction sites to try and get them. The hookup tackle doesn't have them. I don't think Tackle Warehouse has them. I don't think a whole lot of places carry the signal double attack rig is really what it's called. If I find a place, I'll leave a link to it down in the description below. If not, you guys are gonna just have to kind of wait for signal to make more and maybe the hookup gets some. But I know a lot of guys, they make their own out of like three-way swivels and like fluorocarbon and it's basically the same exact concept as like a donkey rig, uh, just with clashes. So you can pretty much make your own. This just is made out of that nice wire and uh, yeah, so that's it guys. Kind of a quick video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully that answers some of the questions that I've been getting about the double clash rig. It's definitely a cool, cool rig if you can do it yourself. Let me know how it works out for you. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, go out there and chase your dreams.